Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're continuing to solve these multi-step equations, which just means that we have to do more than one thing to get to the answer. So what if we have 1 minus x divided by 3 is equal to 7? Equations like this scare the you-know-what out of lots of people because they don't know what to do first, because they see the 1 minus x here, so they know there's some subtraction going on, so they think they might need to add something or subtract something, but then you have this division bar, so they don't know what to do first. Should I do... Should I get rid of the 3 first, or should I try to get rid of the 1 first? Um, well, let me turn it around and try to give you a piece of advice. If you tried to get rid of this 1, like if, if this 3 weren't here at all, if you were trying to get rid of this 1, what would you do? You would have to subtract 1 from both sides, because this is a positive 1. So you'd have to subtract 1 from both sides. All right. But since this is a giant fraction, you're not just going to subtract 1 from the top. You'd be subtracting 1 from the whole fraction. So you'd have 1 minus x over 3, and then off to the side, minus 1. That would look more complicated than what you have now, and the 1 would not be able to cancel with the negative 1, because your negative 1 would be outside of the fraction. You see, because when you subtract it from both sides, you're not just going to subtract it in the numerator. You'd have to subtract the entire fraction minus 1 to kill it. So that's not going to be easy to do. It's not going to get rid of the 1 in the way that you want. So you need to envision invisible parentheses around this guy and think, what else could I do? Well, let me see if I can get rid of the 3. If I multiply both sides by 3, then immediately the 3s are going to cancel. That makes the equation simpler. So that's the direction you need to go. So 1 minus x over 3 is equal to 7. And since we're dividing by 3, we'll just multiply by 3 and multiply by 3. I'm trying to tell you by examples that the 3 is going to cancel with the 3. So all you're going to have on the left-hand side is 1 minus x, and on the right-hand side you're going to have 21. 